folks, how's it going? Happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing really good today. Uh, it's not Black Friday, but that's the song we're tackling today. Really cool riff, really cool stuff going on there too with the, uh, you know, the guitar part. It's kind of got that... Right, and the organ player, the piano part is... Thing. It's really cool. It's kind of dark and just neat how the chords work together and stuff. So figured we'd go through it easy. I'm just gonna shut that overdrive. I had a little overdrive going there. Just get a little punch out of it. So let's just go through the chords real quick. Uh, I'm gonna shut the delay off too. So it's in E. It's like the old rock and roll kind of shuffle, like. to it you know right so what I'm doing is just adding this so I'm playing this E7 in this shape which is just uh, the A string in the fourth and the G string in the second which is one shape but the first shape is going to be this one so, uh, you got the A string in the fourth and the G string in the third. You're going to slide that one up. So, you got two little taps on the E. That shape is the one I showed you in the order I shouldn't have. I'm sorry about that. But that's the A string on the fourth, G string on the second. So E7, you got these four shapes. Okay. So just to fit that little... We're just playing an extra note with it. That's my method. You know, it's not... How the record is or anything I mean they played it in, in different you know tracks so to play it you know for my own enjoyment this is kind of how I worked it up so okay uh, the next thing is gonna be this little chorus thing which is really neat the chord movements movements are really cool so you know, it goes to A. Then it does this E minor. I don't even know what this chord is. It's like an E minor over G. Okay, because you're playing this note here, the third fret, this G note, and you got this E minor with a G note, and then you just add your pinky on the G string in the fourth fret. Okay? So you got Black right? And then it's going to go to F sharp 7. And then it's going to go back to this E minor over G. Okay? So. Okay? One more time. A. Uh, yeah. E minor over G, so, whoop, I'm playing that wrong, I was hitting that A note and I shouldn't have, then we're going to come up to this, now this little shape is the D string in the 4th, the A string and G string are going to be in the 6th fret. Okay. And I kind of played the open notes under on the top too. Just kind of let those kind of ring in easy. I didn't hit them really hard, but so you're just gonna drop that bass note down one. So and 
then you're going to play this A over B. It's just one hit. So it's just an A triad with a B in the bass. So you could play that with your thumb over, or you could play it like this. It's kind of a hard grab doing it like this, but I'm working on getting this grip down versus this one. Just for easier movement between chords. So again, <laughs> okay, so that's it. And then you got this little lick, which is uh, you got the D string in the ninth fret, G string in the sixth. You're going to hammer that note onto the seventh. So, okay, and right back to this D string in the uh, ninth. So. this lesson but I'm a terrible guitar teacher but I'm trying here we go one more time tricky it's not that tough though really as far as steely dan stuff goes i think this one's pretty easy uh it's pretty much it you know it just keeps riffing on that riff some nice guitar solos going on and uh all in all a really cool cool songs really driving beat going too which is nice i like that it's kind of a more up-tempo rocky feel for steely dan in my opinion which I think it's really cool and it kind of stands out too. Well guys, I hope that helps and uh, hopefully I played it right and told you the right stuff. I'm thinking uh, I did, but sometimes I get confused. It's hard for me to uh, convey this stuff because I don't ever have to teach anybody. I just do it on my own, you know, so it's, uh, I was never a good guitar teacher. I tried it for a while. Uh, wasn't for me. Anyway, good luck with that one. I'm going to keep going on the Steely Dan trip for a while. See what else I can come up with. Uh, there's some great ones out there. I started listening to a little bit of Steely Dan today, this afternoon, and this one come to mind. It was Friday, Black Friday. I was like, yeah, I'll try it. So anyways, there you go. It's pretty easy. And, uh, you know, it takes some practice to get those grips. But, you know, I'm working on it too. You know, I just learned this myself today, you know, for real. So, there you go, guys. Enjoy. Have a good one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really would appreciate that. And, uh, as usual, I'll keep putting videos up usually every day. So... Take good care. We'll see you soon. Okie doke.